Good morning, everybody. It is May 23rd, 2019, and I'm here with a Dollar Tree haul. Um, this is over several different hauls. Um, sometimes it takes a couple of times to your Dollar Tree to get all the pieces and parts you want for a project, and that's what I've done here. But I'm going to share with you where I found things and and uh, what I want to do with them. So, I'm going to pull up here and let's see if I can re-aim myself so you're not looking at my belly. There we go. Good morning. Um, I am very proud to be an American. Uh, my father was a World War II veteran. He fought in World War II. He actually um, left high school early and, and went directly into the Army. So uh, he never actually graduated from high school and he came back from the war basically 100% disabled. And um, he lived basically on a veteran's pension and odd jobs that he could do and uh, I guess you'd call him a junk man he kind of dealt in junk a lot um, he worked in a junkyard processing metals he um, he did do some roofing um, but these are all things that he did to you know pay the bills and I am very proud of him for what he did uh, when I was a kid I was not very proud of him. I was actually very embarrassed by him. And uh, so I got a, <laughs> I got a lot to make up for. So anyway, I am a proud American. And as you know, Memorial Day is coming up. Fourth of July is coming up. I hate to think about it, but Labor Day will be here before we know it. And these are all, um, times when you can bring out your red, white, and blue, and I, I love my red, white, and blue. They are colors that don't run. So, um, on the top here, this is one of those signs from the Dollar Tree. It came actually looking more like this. It had a red glitter heart on it with stars, but uh, I covered it up with some twine and I'm still working on it it's not finished yet but um, my son for Mother's Day got me some twine I got two packages of twine from him and so I had started wrapping my hearts here and uh, I'm going to use these with my red white and blue wreaths that I make so this is one sign proud to be an American then we've got God Bless America. Um, we've got some stars, red, white, and blue. We've got some bows, red, white, and blue bows. Um, they had these foil shapes in stars and I, I kind of liked it and I thought that would really add some interest to my wreath so I picked up a star and then um, this is a wreath form from the Dollar Tree for one dollar everything I'm showing you is only a dollar at the Dollar Tree so this wreath form doesn't look like much now but uh, I'll share with you what I may make with it. With that wreath form, I use this decorative mesh. I know you've all seen them out there. Everybody's making deco mesh wreaths, aren't they? If not, if you're one of the three that aren't, this is uh, an easy, quick way to start. Three dollars, some deco mesh. And the really cool thing is, is they also now have at the Dollar Tree a deco mesh that is actually red, white, and blue stripes on it. So all you got to do is buy 
you know, two or three rolls of the red, white, and blue, and you have all you need in case there's a color missing. So, those are my wreath projects. You also need pipe cleaners, and that's about it. And you can make a really cool decorative wreath. I'm going to set that behind me. Oh, dear. Um, I have this mirror. I've been watching... I'm, I always mess up their names when I'm going to say it. I can read names, but I can't pronounce them. But it's, it's Kelly Barlow, the stinking cute lady. She... Um, she made well, my other project. This one was a dupe. I can't remember who did it, but they used these tower blocks, tumbling tower blocks. You find these in the toy section. Some people find them and there's like a dark and a, a, a painted block also, but mine always come all bare naked wood. So I like those. And this mirror, and when I'm finished, I'll show you what I've what I made, and I'll put a link to who came up with the idea first. So, got that. Um, Kelly Barlow did this amazing. They're candlesticks, and they're glass, and they use basically these three components here with a little sand and she makes these awesome candlesticks now I have I bought six of these and three of the glass hurricanes is that what they call them I don't know um, but anyways you can find them in the, the glass section there at Dollar Tree where they have all the floral stuff and then I bought some pillar candles that already have batteries in them. And these candlesticks were in the candle section. So wherever you find all your candles and candlesticks, that's where you'll find those. I bought six of these because I'm going to stack them. I'm going to make one, one of them. And then a second one, two of these. And the third one will be three high. So, um it'll definitely be cool it's on Car kelly barlow and um i think she did she did it as a wedding um wedding decor for a lady she was looking for something rustic and farmhouse and uh, that's what she came up with well i'm going to add to my sand i'm going to add some shells because i'm more of a nautical farmhouse so I've got some some shells and some sand and then um, I don't know exactly how or where I'll use this for sure but I love 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 this um, burlap lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree you get nine feet of it for a buck and there are so many fun things you can do with it so those also and the adhesive to glue my glass together i'm not going to use the um e6000 because it's kind of expensive um for me to buy and for a dollar i can get this and it works very much like the e6000 so i think you'll find it, it's very good. It works with rubber, wood, metal, and glass. So that's those parts. Setting them down here. I also found these cute stickers. They're the metallic foil stickers. They were up front by the register. You gotta, you gotta shop the registers at Dollar Tree because that's where they put all the new cool stuff, okay? And um, these were, they also have like um, whales and things. They've also got unicorns. 
Um, seems like there was another one too, but I can't remember. But I love these little foxes and I love dragonflies and ladybugs. So I had to pick up those two. And then I, you heard about my twine. I use twine for all kinds of things. So my son, he knows I love it. I also love the nautical rope that you can get at Dollar Tree, but they have not had it at my Dollar Tree for a couple of months now. And so I've had to resort to using more twine for my projects. So anyway, so those are f some fun things. I also picked up, believe it or not, I've got eight of these now. They are these blue five by seven photo frames. And if you notice, they're already distressed. They're already blue. I don't have to get out any paint. They're nice and flat, so they'll sit close to the wall. And uh, I've got something in mind for these. And yesterday when I went into Michael's, I spent less than a dollar at Michael's yesterday. But I found this chicken wire and wood scrapbook paper. Now this was from Michael's and I got it for 17 cents a sheet. And it must be noon because my husband's calling. So hang on and I'm gonna pause right here for a minute. Okay, so I got eight of these. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with them yet, but I love them. So I had to get them. Don't tell my husband. So anyway, um, and then these are the things that really are not crafty, but I bought them at the Dollar Tree because that's where I buy them. It's quick and easy. I don't know, I can't spend two or three dollars on things anymore. I like a dollar, so. Um, I got some Miracle Nail, which is a, a nail hardener. If you look at my nails, my nails are really in bad shape. I also picked up this little manicure set to put in my purse because why is it that every time I leave the house, something goes wrong with my nails and I am like, wanting to cut them or fix them. So I've got this little manicure set for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So burn my nails. This was for my kids. Twix, Kit Kat, and Reese's all in white chocolate. I don't know what is wrong with my children, but they like white chocolate. Crazy, right? Yeah. So at least I have these as uh, some treats because you know they're going to be home. So, um, I then also picked up my husband and I, we love this. It's guafacin 400 milligrams, mucus relief. Uh, let's just face it, we live in South Carolina and there are allergies, and these allergies create mucus and, uh, for a dollar you get 15 caplets. I don't know what it is at the other stores, but most guafacin, it's five or six dollars. You might get uh, 30 to 60 tablets. And I can get four of these and have 60 tablets for four bucks. So I feel that like that's a pretty good deal. So I get that for my husband. And then this here is something that I have around the house for me. It's called Energy, Energy in a Bottle. Don't we all want to buy Energy in a Bottle? And it's only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It has in it green tea, which is a component of my new diet. I need green tea for anti-inflammation. Anti it also has ginseng, which helps my brain. And they say this ginseng is what is supplying the 80 milligrams of caffeine. I love caffeine, but I do not like coffee. I will drink coffee, but in order for me to drink coffee, it has to have a lot of sweetener in it and cream in it. So I really like 
a little coffee with my cream and sugar. And I'm on a new inflammation, anti-inflammation diet, and part of that diet is I have to cut out my sugar. Um, sugar is my favorite best friend. I love her. She peps me up. She sweetens my foods and makes them tasty. But unfortunately, she raises havoc in my body. And causes severe pain and I am on a mission to cut my pain down to half or even cut it out. I would love to cut it out but I I don't know if I'd be alive without pain. So anyway, so here's my energy in a bottle. Um, it's got gargana, green tea, and ginseng in it and it's energy in a bottle. Um, I think we all know what antibacterial travel wipes and what having them around the house are for. Fresh scent, alcohol free, kills germs, a dollar for 50 of them or a dollar for 30 of them wrapped up in little packages I can throw in my purse. Always got to have those. And then hydrogen peroxide. This is a 32 fluid ounce bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Um, I don't know. They say a square bottle uses less plastic than a similarly sized round bottle. Hmm, interesting. I know it fits in the shelf better. Um, Hydrogen peroxide, 3%, that's what I wanted to know, 3% first aid antiseptic or an oral debreeding agent. So you can use this in your mouth for like a mouthwash. It does help brighten the teeth a little, um, but I think it's a little too rough on the teeth, so use it sparingly. Um, but I use it mostly for blood. Um, I have issues with scratching and I bleed easily and I've always got a blood stain somewhere so I use this for removing blood it also if you mix this with Dawn dishwashing detergent it makes an incredible stain fighting solution to spray on your clothes. It will not bleach them, but it will take out the oil. It will take out the, um, basically, I, I think the stains, you know, blood stains, I would say sweat stains, those kinds of things, it, this really helps with. So I buy hydrogen peroxide. Um, then these are two things that I do pick up these often. I like to pick these up. These are word finds, but I bought this for my son. Do you look at this? $4.95, $5.95 in Canada. But I bought it at the Dollar Tree for a buck. And my son and I both have dyslexia. And so he has a real hard time with spelling and we're going to use this for like spelling words and learning about uh, letters that typically go together and make sounds and we're just going to be working on this this summer and uh, I think let's see there's there's 80 there's 83 puzzles in here and they're all large print because if you have dyslexia small print is not your friend um, it all mashes together really bad so the larger the print the better so I buy the large print and I know he's gonna hate it but I think what I'll do is uh, Eight for $8.30, I can give him a dime 
for each one of these that he completes. Well, no, four or five. It'll, it'll basically be about eight dollars. Okay? Eight dollars, ten cents a piece. If he does them all, he'll probably go buy candy with it or he'll buy Pokemon cards. But anyway, that's what we got. So I picked that up. And then this interests me the complete Beck diet for life, including the Think Thin eating plan. This is a $25 book. And it has Oprah Magazine on it. Um, you know, and Oprah doesn't put her name on just anything. So I figured that must be pretty good. Dr. Beck, I believe, um, she's been on Oprah at some time. But anyway, I picked this book up. I have no idea if it's going to work. Um, but it's based on eating choices. If it helps me more with my choices and makes me think more about what I'm eating, I'm going to check it out. Um, hopefully it'll have some ideas on some meal plans and some some recipes and uh, we'll just see what it it was a dollar so i think for a dollar if all else fails i'll take the cover i'll take it apart and make it into a journal and use the pages for crafting <laughs> so nothing is sacred in this fa family it, it it can all be used for crafting so that is my Dollar Tree haul. I know that was a little long, so um, I will quit it here. This is my my one of my favorite sayings. I am blessed, and the secret to having it all is knowing that you already do. I already have it all because I have my children and I have my husband, and I have a roof over my head and I have food in my belly. Is there really anything more I need? Not really. Everything else is fluff and the Lord blesses me. I have all kinds of stuff here and I just I want to praise him and thank him and uh, just remember that you are blessed and the secret to having it all is knowing that you already do. God bless you. Have a great day. And I know this is not my typical uh, I'm blessed. My typical video, but I thought you might be interested in some of the pieces and parts that I got together to make some, some things. Um, so, have a great day. Bye.